हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ ऑटोमेटेड यूरिन एनालिसिस यूरिन एनालिसिस इज़ अ मेजर डायग्नोस्टिक स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट इन क्लिनिकल लेबोरेटरी अंटिल रिसेंटली द मैनुअल माइक्रोस्कोपिक यूरिन सेडिमेंट एनालिसिस वाज द मोस्ट वाइडली एक्सेप्टेड यूरिन एनालिसिस मैथोडोलॉजी मैनुअल माइक्रोस्कोपिक यूरिन सेडिमेंट एनालिसिस इज अ टाइम कंज्यूमिंग मैथोडोलॉजी एंड एसोसिएटेड विद एनालिटिकल एरर्स Automated urine analysis can be used for the urinary tract screening and for diagnosis and monitoring broad variety of nephrological and urological conditions. Principles of automated urine analysis. Principles on which automated urine analyzer works are automated urine strip reading by reflectance photometry. Second is fluorescent flow cytometry. and third is automated microscopy automated urine strip reading it is based on the dry pad urine chemistry with a color change measured by reflectance photometry the reciprocal value of reflectance reading is proportional to the concentration of measured analyte Automated strip reading enables analysis of pH, red blood cells, white blood cells, glucose, protein, ketone bodies, bilirubin, urobilinogen and nitrate in the urine. Classical dye binding based albumin test strip in the combination with complementary metal oxide semiconductor based strip reader could allow quantitative analysis of albuminuria and determination of albumin creatinine ratio machine setup includes colorimetric reading and the 10 para strip initial reports includes physical properties like color transparency specific gravity ph specific gravity is measured by the refractometry hydrometry or reagent strip testing strip test report include color transparency specific gravity ph leukocyte protein glucose ketone bilirubin urobilinogen blood nitrate let's see the color different color of urine has a different significance normal urine is pale yellow or amber in color dark amber color is due to the concentrated urine dark yellow color is due to jaundice cloudy whitish urine seen in the infection dark orange color urine is seen due to drug ingestion red and dark brown color due to hemoglobinuria or myoglobinuria normal urine is transparent and clear slightly cloudy to turbid urine is due to infective process specific gravity range is 1.300 to 1.030 low specific gravity occurs due to the diabetes insipidus and kidney disease and high specific gravity occurs due to the diabetes mellitus or dehydration pH pH range is 5.0 to 8.5 alkaline urine may be due to infection or drugs and acidic urine is due to uncontrolled diabetes or starvation or dehydration leukocyte shows white blood cells in the urine either intact or disrupted it is detected by the leukocyte asterisk it shows urinary tract infection or inflammation protein in the urine shows proteinuria it is seen due to the kidney disease diabetes mellitus or in eclampsia in hypertension or in multiple myeloma glucose in urine mainly seen in diabetes mellitus 
कीटोन इन यूरिन इज सीन इन डिहाइड्रेशन स्टारवेशन एंड इन अनकंट्रोल डायबिटीज वेन डायबिटीज कीटो एसिडोसिस अकर्स बिलीरुबिन इन यूरिन सीन इन जॉन्डिस और लिवर डिसीज यूरोबिलिनोजन इन यूरिन सीन इन लिवर डिजीज हिमोलिटिक एनीमिया एंड ड्यू टू सर्टन ड्रग्स ब्लड इन यूरिन सीन इन द ब्लडर कार्सिनोमा ट्रोमा इन्फेक्शन और किडनी डिजीज नाइट्राइट गिवज एन इंडिकेशन ऑफ नाइट्राइट प्रोड्यूसिंग बैक्टेरिया प्रेजेंट इन द यूरिन This completes the urine chemistry examination. The next principle is fluorescent flow cytometry. In flow cytometry, the cell suspension containing heterogeneous population of cell is prepared by mixing of patient sample with diluent. Saline solution in flow cytometer leads this cell suspension through the narrow channel causing the cell to form a single file line. before cell passes through the lasers at the interrogation point each cell within the sample moves across the laser beam allowing each cell to be individually analyzed as the cell passes through the laser beam the laser beam scattered in the multiple direction flow cytometer detects the light scatter in the forward manner called the forward scatter and the light scatter in the side manner called the side scatter the amount of forward scatter light for each cell is detected by a detector on a far side of the cell of the laser forward scatter is proportional to the size of the cell the detector converts the scattered light into the voltage pulse which is directly proportional to the amount of the forward scattered light the computer converts this data into the histogram plots with amount of the forward scattered light on the x axis and a number of cells on the y axis The amount of the side scatter is detected by the detector located perpendicular to the path of the laser beam. The side scatter is proportional to the shape and the internal complexity of the cell. Just like with forward scatter light, the flow cytometer converts the detected side scatter light into a voltage pulse which is directly proportional to the amount of the side scatter light. By analyzing the forward scatter data together we can understand the cell size, shape and complexity. thus heterogeneous population cells are divided according to the size shape and complexity by flow cytometer it can also detect the emitted light from the excited fluorescent molecules such as fluorescent dyes and the stains urine particle flow cytometer have improved count precision and accuracy compared with visual microscopy they could identify rbcs wbcs squamous epithelial cells transitional epithelial cells renal tubular cells bacterial cells hyaline cast and inclusion cast yeast like cells crystals and spermatozoa using the argon laser flow cytometry they are also analyzing the forward scatter light side scatter light side fluorescent light and depolarized side scatter light Another method to detect RBC WBC squamous epithelial cell yeast bacteria crystal is automated microscopy. In manual microscopy several steps such as centrifugation, decantation and resuspension lead to cellular lysis and loss. The pattern recognition based development of automated microscopic system came to existence. Some analyzer uses the laminar flow digital imaging technology and some uses the automated microscopy image based urine sediment analysis. In laminar flow, identification software classifies and quantifies cells and particles in uncentrifuged urine using a single laminar flow of specimen through the lens of charge coupling device video camera. After classification by instrument the operator has the ability to reclassify or correct the obtained image in the correct categories in addition the detection of malignant atypical urothelial cells is possible which may indicate bladder carcinoma diagnosis improved analyzer allows distinction between four types of the crystal calcium oxalate 
डिहाइड्रेट कैल्शियम ऑक्सीट मोनोहाइड्रेट यूरिक एसिड एंड स्ट्रोवाइट द फ्लो साइटोमेट्री एंड इमेज एनालिसिस रिपोर्ट इंक्लूड्स आर बी सी डब्ल्यू बी सी कास्ट क्रिस्टल बैक्टीरिया यीस्ट एपिथीलियल सेल्स स्क्वेमस एपिथीलियल सेल्स ट्रांजेशनल एपिथीलियल सेल्स एंड रीनल टेबुलर एपिथीलियल सेल्स डब्ल्यू बी सी इन यूरिन इंडिकेट्स इन्फेक्शन और इन्फ्लामेशन इन यूरिनरी ट्रैक आर बी सीज आर ऑफ टू टाइप नॉन डिसमोर्फिक एंड डिसमोर्फिक एंड नॉन डिसमोर्फिक आर बी सी सीन ड्यू टू नॉन ग्लोमेरुलर ब्लीडिंग फ्रॉम एनी वेयर इन द यूरिनरी ट्रैक एंड डिसमोर्फिक आर बी सीज आर सीन इन द ग्लोमेरुलर डिजीज स्क्वेमस एपिथिलियल सेल्स आर नॉर्मली सीन इन द यूरिन बट एक्सेसिव सेल्स शोज कॉन्टेमिनेशन एंड इम प्रॉपर कलेक्शन ऑफ द यूरिन सैम्पल रिनल ट्यूबुलर सेल्स इन द यूरिन शोज एक्यूट ट्यूबुलर इंजरी हाइलिन कास्ट ग्रैन्युलर कास्ट आर सीन ड्यू टू द किडनी डिजीज व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स कास्ट सीन इन द इन्फेक्शन और इन्फ्लमेशन रेड ब्लड सेल कास्ट आर सीन इन द ग्लोमेरुलर डिजीज मडी ब्राउन कास्ट सीन इन द एक्यूट ट्यूबुलर इंजरी बैक्टीरिया सीन इन द यूरिनरी ट्रैक इन्फेक्शन और इन कॉन्टेमिनेशन and some crystal can be found in healthy individual and some abnormal crystals are found in metabolic disorders or due to the drug ingestion i will describe some of the crystals here first is uric acid crystal uric acid crystal are the rhomboic diamond shape elongated and needle shape they can appear yellow brown or orange according to the ph of the urine they are seen in the gout dehydration renal stone renal disease with high purine diet in the acidic urine second is calcium oxalate they are colorless square shaped with refractile border dumbbell shaped octahedral shape or envelope shaped there are two types oxalate monohydrate and oxalate dihydrate they are seen due to the renal stone or due to the long standing urine and it is seen in the acidic urine triple phosphate they are colorless and appear as a prisms or coffin lid shape crystals with three or six sides they are found in the alkaline urine and associated with a certain type of bacterial infection like proteus mirabilis next is bilirubin crystals they are abnormal crystal in the urine they are associated with the liver disease or the disease of biliary system they appear as a yellow brown or red brown needles granules or plates and often irregular shapes integrated analysis the automated test strip readers and particle analyzer have been successfully mechanically integrated all the result from machine are reflected on the report through ali system this development of the expert system has enabled the comparison and identification of the cases that need manual review which improve the quality of test results this is the sample report and how urine routine and microscopy report look like Thank you